facing an eviction, negotiating a settlement with your landlord can be a better way to resolve your case than going before a judge. For the settlement, you can come up with terms that fit your situation. Other times, going before a judge may be better. Nice to see you again. Are you waiting for mediation too? Yes. I'm still trying to figure everything out though. My landlord is evicting me for not paying rent and he says he just wants me out. But he did something wrong. There are all sorts of problems in my apartment. Can that help me in court? I am having problems with my landlord too. I checked this out on MassLegalHelp.org before court. A legal claim means your landlord violated your rights and you might have a claim against him. Before you negotiate, identify your legal claims, things your landlord did that violated your rights. Then bring these claims up during your negotiation. Your agreement should address claims you have against the landlord, not just claims the landlord has against you. What about the bad conditions? Can I ask my landlord to fix them by a certain date? Yes, that's exactly the kind of thing you can ask. I heard my landlord may owe me money because of the bad conditions. You are right. Your landlord may also owe you money. Ask your landlord to lower the amount of rent you owe. If the conditions were very bad, your landlord may owe you three months rent. You can find out more at masslegalhelp.org. If there is a lawyer for the day, they can also help you identify your legal claims. I can't afford my apartment, so I know I have to move, but I have nowhere to go. If you have to move out, pick a date that gives you enough time to find a new place. Do not agree to move in a short time if you have no place to go. But how much time can I get? If you are current on your rent and your landlord is evicting you for a reason that is not your fault, you can usually negotiate more time to stay. If you go before a judge and lose, the judge can give you up to six months to find a new place or up to 12 months if someone in your house is 60 or older or disabled. Keep this in mind when you negotiate for time. Can I stay for free to save? No. You will need to pay rent while you are looking for another place. Judges are not required to give you extra time. Will the landlord try to get anything from me? Yes. So I read this is very important. The landlord may ask you to waive the right to any further stay or say that there will be no further extensions. Try to keep this language out of the agreement so you can ask the court for more time if you need it. What if I do owe rent? Do not agree to move out in less than 13 days. Even if you had a trial and lost, you would still have 13 days to move out. So do not give up that time in your agreement. Most landlords want you to move out voluntarily. They do not usually want to pay a sheriff to evict you and a mover to put your things in storage. My landlord wants me out now. I have nowhere to go. What can I do? If you think your landlord will not give you enough time to move, ask for a review date in court instead of a move-out date. Put this in the agreement. If you cannot find a place by the review date, tell the landlord what you have done to try. They may give you more time. If your landlord does not agree to give you more time, you can ask a judge for more time. The second thing is pay while you stay. If you cannot pay back the rent you owe, but you can pay the current rent, offer to pay rent while you stay in the apartment and look for a new place. If your landlord agrees to this, put it in the agreement. This way, you can stay in your apartment while you look for another place and the landlord does not lose more rent.